Hey guys, so as you have seen with cutting, deleting, and yanking, when we delete or copy some text, it gets saved into a buffer. To paste the buffer, we use the p commands, but this was only used for the most current deletion. But in fact, the last nine deletions from d or x commands are placed into our buffer. To recover a deletion, we use the following command. So we use a quotation mark, and then n is our buffer number, so one would be the most recent buffer, and then nine would be the ninth buffer saved and then we have our P key. So let's say I'm over here and I wanted to delete the following lines uh, one at a time. So I can just press double D and then period for the rest. So right now line number five, which was my most recent deletion is going to be at buffer position one because it was most recent. And then my very first deletion, which was line number one first, that's going to be pushed all the way to buffer number five. So if I wanted to place my very first line, I would have to go to the fifth buffer line. So I would say quotation mark 5p, and then number two would be at the fourth buffer, and so on. So a lot of the times when you're editing a file, you'll be cutting and pasting here and there, and then you'll lose track of which buffer corresponds to which line. So if you want, you could traverse our buffer with this fancy trick. So we would have our quotation mark 1p, which would paste our very first buffer. And if that doesn't work, you can just press U, which is for undo, and then period, which will repeat the command. And keep doing that until you find what you're looking for.